Hello everybody, my name is William Bramer and I'm the director of Art Fusion Galleries. And today we have the Director's Choice. Director's Choice is actually a little interview that we have with each resident artist. She's a wonderful lady, she's multi-talented. So today's Director's Choice is Linda Stella. Hello Stella, how are you? Hello William, thank you, thank you, I'm great. Now tell me something Stella, where do you live first of all? I live in the state of New Hampshire. I'm in the woods, which I love because it's very creative. I have a lot of wildlife that I love. I'm into music. A lot of times I get inspired by different songs. You know, it, it, everything I do is one of a kind. If someone said to me, Miss Stella, can you paint this? I'll give you so much money. Redo this, redo this. No, it's an emotion. It's something that comes like a divine intervention. That's how I feel. Let's talk a little bit uh, about this latest piece that you've done, which is um, the stone, right? I was inspired by the wonderful rock singer, Chris Cornell, and the song is called Like a Stone. My house is made of stone. I can relate to a lot of the words. I want to hear a little bit about uh, the She-Wolves, because it's one of my favorite pieces of, that you have. I was living in the Caribbean, and uh, they overheard me singing in my little boutique room, and they said I sounded like Shakira. And so I was singing her songs, and she came out with a song called She-Wolf. All of a sudden, out of my head, I did this painting of She-Wolves, and there it is. I know that your passion really is to do works with inks and, and paper. Well, I, my freedom with a pencil is just so phenomenal. It just flows so easily. So a lot of times I create first like that because the paint sometimes fights me and it won't, it won't make those fluid lines the way I like them. And um, yeah, so. So you have more control when you're, in, when you're working with the, with the ink. Even in ink pens, I just so, just like music, the ink pens seem to flow so easily. They have a really interesting feel and they're all small pieces and they're all done in charcoals and inks. And I always comment on your shoes because you always wear fabulous shoes. I, I was a sample shoe size and I used to model, they'd set up a suite in a major hotel and all the shoe buyers would come in and point out what shoes they wanted me to wear and model for their stores, you know. Tell me, I got paid pretty good money. But they'd tell me I could take whatever I wanted. That was the best thing. Oh, when you leave, you take whatever shoe you want. So the sad thing is I have this little foot. It's four and a half. And uh, they, the model sizes went up. I was attending Mass College of Art in Boston, Mass. And the professor... Uh, inspired them. I want you to do, you know, what you're feeling and what you love most. And I was like, I believe by going back that they were inspired also by music. I want you to tell me a little bit about the painting that we have behind us over here. These girls seem to have it going on. They're dancing and maybe they had a little sip. I don't know. I called them moonshine angels. <laughs> That's good. Moonshine angels. I like Shine. That. I like and that's the name of them. And, and uh, yeah, they look like they're having fun. I want to know a little bit about this other piece, is, uh, the Bird Man, which is really cool. And of course, the lady that's uh, flipping the finger. I kind of look at that and I kind of think of COVID. Shake off the haters. That's, right. that's the name of it. And it was inspired by a well-known singer who when she accepted the her Oscar, she was saying, when you reach a plateau, you'll know that you put yourself there. Flick the haters. Yeah, shake off the haters. I've heard some of your songs and you have an amazing voice. And uh, so I really would like to, to talk about how that journey started. When I was only seven years old, my parents took me to this extravagant wedding where they had this big orchestra. Without my parents' permission, I went up on stage and told the orchestra that I wanted to sing. And they actually backed me up. And my parents were like, what are you doing? 
And it started um, everything. I did classic rock with, I've worked with many musicians and doing many um, variety of shows and different things and, and I'm still working on it. I, I still, I love my visual arts, but I still love my performing arts as well. Recently you met a gentleman here in uh, Miami and his name is Dino. I see that you're inspired a lot by his creativeness, his guitar playing, especially he plays wonderful guitar. Dino and amazingly the famous Frida Kahlo married a Diego and Dino's real name is Diego, but he likes Dino. And um, he is beautiful inside and out. And so, yeah, we're, we're working on, right now, some amazing music. I'd like to, to know where you feel that your art is going, um, where you would like to see your art go, and what are some plans that you have for the future? especially international, because William and I got to uh, go out to Italy. To, to be able to go back to the country, my family immigrated, you know, to the States, and it was amazing. I really should have mentioned that with Vito Abba, that he has uh, facilitated our exhibitions abroad, and your works have been shown in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, in, in Tokyo and also Basilico San Lorenzo, which, which was an amazing, uh, amazing, uh, exciting exhibition in Florence. And it's a shame that the COVID crisis has, you know, they've cut our plans a little bit, but we're, we always re reorganize ourselves because we never stop as artists. They say that Art Basel has been canceled in the convention center, but nevertheless, uh, we are celebrating Art Basel because Art Fusion Galleries is not let down and we always celebrate and we always open and we fight and, and your work is going to be here forever. Thank you so much, William. It's been, it's been a wonderful inspiration being with you, working with you, being in this whole realm. It's just amazing and it keeps continuing to be more amazing.